Okay, so we have we'll cover cast and converts. Um, but before we will want to say uh, see actually what data types are constants. So when I do select one, what what data type is this? Okay, we can imagine for select one it's just integer of course. Int it takes just four byte int. For for um, yeah for uh, some things like this. You will see that it's actually actually decimal. He takes it takes a uh, decimal as a default data type. If we select like this, then it's varchar, so var variable character, var char whatever. If we want to have n varchar, then we have to make it like this: the n for n varchar, and then it's actually internally represented as n varchar. We can see it, uh, of course, again with the function that we already know, data length, data length here. So this should be six, right? Because we have n varchar in three bytes and every uh, character in n varchar is represented by two bytes. And if we omit the n, or we delete it, then we have only three. Okay, so this, just at the beginning, what are constants actually for data types? Data type form, you see it right here. So we have a constant one that is integer, and we want to change this to a varchar. Okay, we can do it. It doesn't look different, but we need uh, those casts uh, statements for the future. So here we have uh, the thing that we. Um, are discussing now explicit casts and explicit converts. Explicit means that I tell the select clause or the, the server or whatever, I tell the computer, take this integer one and please convert it or cast it to a varchar variable uh, character data type with one length. Here I say take this variable character length data type of three with the content of ABC and create an integer out of it. Of course, this will fail because we can't uh, transform uh, letters to numbers, right? So this will fail. Conversion failed when converting the varchar value ABC to data type in. And here you see already what I told you. Uh, the ABC is varchar implicit and the data type in restated, okay? So what we can do instead of cast is try cast. What try cast will do is the exact same thing with cast, but instead, if it fails, it does not does not uh, abort the whole thing with an error message, but it will just return null, as you see here. Result null. What is null? Null is the absence of a value. So imagine this as a blank space. For now, we will cover nulls later on when we also cover joins, I guess. Um, a null is just a missing value. There is nothing there. It's not an it's not a default value. It's just a missing value. Okay. So what happens with this statement? As we know, we have the plus for two purposes. We can say select a b c plus d e f, and then it will just concatenate. That is, string them together. Right. This is the plus four, but we of course know also the plus from school. Like select one plus two, it will select three. So here's the problem. We have an integer and here we have a character data type. So what will the plus do? Of course, it can either string them together to one one or it can calculate one plus one. So what it can do, it depends on the priority of the data type. So the plus here does not know if it's this plus for this or for this. It has to decide somehow. And how does it decide? It has a look at this uh, data type precedence uh, internal structure. So you see the user defined data types is the highest, then come those data types. And we see our our thing here. We have varchar on place 27, but we have integer on place 16. That means since 16 has a higher priority, we apply the operator for integer because we have one of the operands is integer. And then what it will do, it will implicitly cast this constant as int. It is not explicitly since we don't state it directly. We state just do one plus 
one as a character, but the uh, SQL server decides, okay, since this has a higher priority, the int, this has to uh, follow the rules and just recast it as an int, okay? So it displays two. So of course, when I do this, one plus something that it cannot convert to int, it will fail. Because it will try to cast this, uh, sorry, this as integer, because we talked about it, it has a higher priority and we have only, uh, uh, we have already one um, uh, operand in place. Okay, I hope you understand it. Um, again, because one has a higher priority as an integer value, I call this table, right? So we see it here. It's higher than here. Ah, and watch. Uh, okay. So what happens with select seven uh, divided by five? Since seven is an integer and five is an integer, we have already uh, uh, we have also in this situation several div division operator. We have one operator that takes both int. We have one operator that takes both float or numeric values. For both int, it will always return an int. So seven divided by five and both are integers will result in an integer, and since it will just cut off any decimal that would be there, it will t return a one. Okay, if we now want um, the actual seven uh, divided by five with decimal numbers, we have to do, we have uh, several options. The first option you see here is that we, uh, we state seven int divided by five decimal. Since we put a dot and a zero here, this can't be int anymore, so this is decimal. So then it will also select 1.4. But we can also say select seven int divided by, and now we, so he, we now explicitly cast this as float or numeric value. And here in this first example, it's implicitly casted to float or numeric value. So this is implicit since we didn't say cast, but the query uh, evaluator just does it because he has to apply it since Again, uh, we have here a float or de let's say decimal and int. And if you look at this, uh, this sheet, we have decimal here and int here. So it takes the decimal type of operator and applies, applies um, a implicit cast to this one. So it will implicitly cast this one as decimal. So that that's why we have 1.4. The same thing happens here. We first explicitly cast this as float, and then it will evaluate. Okay, what what uh, division should I use? And then it uh, then the query uh, analyzer sees. Okay, we have here now the decimal number. So we do the same thing that we do above. So th since this is decimal and this has a higher priori uh, priority, we have to cast this implicitly as well. So this is what happens internally with data types. I hope UI was very clear, crystal clear. If not, please ask questions in the in the comments in the comments area i can clarify it again in another video where it's no problem for me but uh, just rewatch it and have a look at this table i will provide the link in the in the in the description as well thanks for watching guys we will cover maybe convert in another session but it's not that important actually the important thing in this session is that you understand how data types are explicitly or implicitly uh, casted in sql server and how your expression in your select clause can evaluate have fun and please subscribe to my channel um, ask questions in the comment section spread the channel to your friends that also want to learn sql and then we can have a good time see you bye bye